Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo i'm your host jay and today i want to talk to you guys a little bit about ecomi the omi token a little bit of an update want to take a look at that chart want to also talk to you guys about trader joe and some interesting things coming for trader joe and why i think the price is at a good point uh for me to pick up some more which i'm probably going to do after this video so if you're excited about that like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new here and let's just get right into it so uh um, the chart of Bitcoin, nothing different from my yesterday's video. Um, the DeFi chart looking the same as the total two chart, nothing different from my yesterday's video. If you want to update on that, go ahead and watch uh, yesterday's video. But overall, hey, we're holding major levels and that's just good to see for now. So getting into Omi. So Omi has been killing it like doing all these drops this week um they got new york comic con and that's why there's been so many drops going on uh different type of drops they got the 007 movie drop uh you know with 007 drop and they got the what if with the what if series going on so what's dope to me is that they're they're doing all these drops going along with what's actually dropping in real life um like the movie like 007 and then like uh you know the what if and and uh the frog thog you know people there's speculation that in the new upcoming thor movie there's going to be uh, a part where he's actually the thor frog or something like that multiverse you know uh right now marvel is going with the whole multiverse situation so that could be something that that we actually see pretty soon so uh marvel might be throwing hints through the vv app that's pretty dope but uh looking right here they're saying uh reese was talking about in the ecomi discord i mean in the ecomi telegram he said nft over omi won't be before mtl the mtl is almost here it's integrating with bank partners so the mtl won't go live uh i mean so the mtl going live won't impact omi at all it will let users cash out to their bank account so a lot of people were worried about this um a couple of my friends included they say yo if there's all these people with all these nfts and all these thousands of gems and, it, and some people actually became gem millionaires based on the nfts that they bought and they haven't been able to cash out yet. So seeing that there's gonna be some way for them to cash out to their bank account, of course they're gonna to have to do KYC because you're dealing with bank accounts. But hey, if you got a bunch of money in there, who cares about uh, giving them your ID when you just want you know, to really do business and stuff like that. So that's um, pretty dope. And, and I agree, Reese, you should sell your own t-shirts. If you guys, you know, think Reese should sell his own t-shirts then then comment and I'll send it to him. Be like, yeah, he should sell his own t-shirts. That's pretty funny. Uh, looking at the, the Omi price right here. So yeah, we continue to hold uh, this line. I, I could pretty much erase this right now that that played out, but we got above some pretty nice levels right now. The next level, of course, is 008. And that seems like it's actually a pretty major level to cross because once we crossed that level before we went to like straight to a penny and uh, that that got pretty bullish pretty fast and then it came down uh pretty fast so there's not much resistance um in there especially once we get to like 0.9 yeah it's, it's not much resistance after this last level of 0.8 but um keep in mind with these pumps like the volume is kind of low but once the uh transfer to immutable comes and they'll be able to get on some more exchanges and everything is all legit with the mtl so let's go let's see if omi gets on coinbase let's see if we got that coinbase effect for omi and everybody who doesn't know about omi says what is this what they're partnered with superman batman marvel and iron man and yeah that's gonna be sick still so I also wanted to talk to you guys real quick about Origin Trail. So I'm really bullish on track, and this was just a dope tweet from the Origin Trail team yesterday. Bank of America launches coverage of digital assets in their digital asset primer. Um, Origin Trail is put in the core of crypto infrastructure and development sectors as one of the only few tokenized projects. So this is their uh, thing right here. And they said only one of the few tokenized projects. There's a bunch of projects on here for sure. But yeah, there's not that many compared to how many is on here. There's not that many that are actually tokenized. But they got some pretty cool ones on here. They got, you know, Ripple. There's a lot of Ripple fans. They got Uniswap, of course, Solana, Compound, stuff like that. But Origin Trail is on here. Um, but, you know, they said one of the few. But there's, I mean, I guess compared to like 
two you know two thousand or seven thousand cryptos like that, that is one of the few but bank of america looking into crypto origin trails on that list and still not a billion dollar market cap like i'm gonna go ahead and just buy me some more they had a nice pump today also want to talk to you guys about eververse um so i talk about nfts on this channel a little bit this is one that i brought up because they were uh developing a game that goes along with these nfts and that was the first time i actually saw that so i thought it was pretty dope that your nft that you have is your character in the game then they gave you a turtle for free if you bought these nfts you got airdropped a turtle um if you were early in there to like mint those turtles so what's coming up with this project next is they have um so what's coming up with the project next is they're having play to earn uh racing track um, and stuff like that and you're gonna get um, a hoverboard if you have a first edition NFT so these NFTs in my opinion are pretty undervalued especially because they're partnering with other projects that are gonna like this this racing game could actually be something that ends up being pretty dope with there being other NFT projects integrated with it um, that's just pretty cool I, I just think that you know this project right here is pretty dope like right here you see this um, alien boy nft which alien boy nft is pretty dope because they partner with a lot of um nft projects including uh, uh deadheads but yeah this is pretty dope to see for nft project right here um you know i think that maybe the, the floor of this should be a little bit a little bit higher in my opinion so um avalanche stats so there's a lot of things going on right now with with avalanche and i'm uh if you guys want me to make a video about liquidity providing and stuff like that if you need a primer on that on avalanche then let me know i will make one of those videos very soon um because right now is the time to take advantage of those things that are going on on avalanche but i just wanted to point out the exports and the imports right here on avalanche and say that the exports leaving avalanche is a lot lower than the imports on avalanche so i think this is just kind of a, a calm down after the thing and after like the initial announcement of uh, the avalanche rush program and um you know a lot of people are moving to ftm so ftm and avalanche are fighting really hard right now to get tvl to and and ftm is doing very well like i thought avalanche was doing dope like oh they got you know three million three billion in in ave and then some new thing popped up on uh, uh ftm my bad ftm and it ended up getting like 11 billion uh, in like the first couple of days so that was pretty cool but they had um, a lot higher apys over there but there are people still moving uh their money into avalanche so i'm still excited about what's going on with the rush and especially when it comes to the trader joe token so it says get ready lending is coming banker joe is opening on the 11th um so the lending on here is coming in two days and that's why i think joe will probably be a coin that has some nice upside in the next couple of days seeing that people are gonna maybe want to use the joe token but um joe is also a um platform that allows you to farm the token so it does create uh, um, some sell pressure on this token when people are you know big whales are farming a lot of this token and they're just dumping it so that's something to keep in mind but with the lending coming they got 20 million dollars in incentives now everybody called the drop of ave a fail because the apys were super low and then they came out the avalanche team came out and said oh we raised the apys sorry everybody and everybody's like nah uh we already left we already sold and stuff like that but hopefully joe gets it right and on the first launch so we'll see what happens and and since then like i said on on avalanche they raised uh, the apys on avalanche to where it's a lot better but um some the apys on ftm were like super high so that's why a lot of people went over there so hopefully joe could compete and we could see some more money flow into the avalanche ecosystem and yeah i'm i'm in in, in ave on avalanche so if you want me to make a video about that just let me know in the comment box before i get up out of here just wanted to show you this top 30 trending coins on coin gecko now this is cool to see because it brings some coins that might not be on your radar when you're going through like coin market cap if you're going through coin market cap every day like the doge 
<laughs> the dog NFT. Like, come on, man. The Doge NFT, 60 million. That is crazy. Um, Olympus Dow. Olympus Dow is one that's been hot lately based on the staking. They got super high staking in Climate Dow. Also, Climate Dow. I'm actually going to talk about Climate Dow uh, pretty soon here on the channel. Wall Street Games. I have some of that token. Um, so, there's some pretty interesting tokens on here. Spirit Swap. That's on FTM. Um, so, just wanted to talk about some of these coins on here and she shiba is number has been number one because you know it's been performing the best over all these coins on here so uh yeah so let me know what you guys think of the video do you like the eververse nfts um are you excited about what's going on with omi were you able to get any of those drops because like i said for me i've been like missing them sleeping through them i tried to wake up for uh today's drop and i got up at like 802 i was like well it's over <laughs> so like and subscribe turn on those post notifications till next time peace